Hello everyone. I hope all of you are fine. This is third video on the series of frequently asked questions in GR exam. These question types and concepts are often tested, so don't miss any single video of the series. And if you find these videos helpful, like the videos, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any single video of the series. This is a bit tricky question that involves the concept of variance. Just pause the video and try to solve this at your own. I assume that all of you have solved this by now. So to understand this, let's have a quick recap about the standard deviation and variance. So what is it is standard deviation? It is a measure of dispersion of data with respect to the mean. So if there is a lower standard deviation, that means the data is more concentrated or clustered around the mean. And if there is high standard deviation value, that means our data is more spread out around the mean. So what exactly is variance? Variance also defines in same values, but the difference lies in its unit and the way we find the variance. So this is a formula for standard deviation. And here SD is the standard deviation, M is the mean, N is the total number of values, and the values are x1, x2, x3, up to x. So what exactly we are doing here? We are subtracting each value from the mean, taking the square of each, adding those and dividing those by total number of values and in last we are taking the square root of that. But in variance the only difference lies that we are now taking the square of that so that finally the square root is removed and this is a formula in which v is the variance, m is the, uh, m is the mean and is the number of values and the values are the same x1, x2, x3 and up to xn. Now if you move to the question we are provided with two data set S and T in which the number of values in data set T is twice the number of values in data set S. So we are provided with relationship uh, of the number of values. And mean is equal in both while variance is different. And data set S and T are combined to form, of new, to form a new data set U. This is a quantitative comparison question in which quantity A is variance of data set U and quantity B is a sum of variance of data set S and T. Now if you just summarize what we are provided, we have three data set S, T, U and number of values, if I consider number of values in data set S as N, so in data set T that is thrice, this will become 3N and in U we are combining both, so this will become 4N and mean is equal so that S and T data set have mean M in each. But for the data set U, we don't know right now, let's consider that as a greater M, bigger M. And for the variance, those are different, so I will consider V1, V2 and V3. So first of all, in data set S now, the number of values are N, so let's call those A1, A2, A3, A4 up to AN. Mean is equal to M, variance is equal to V1. So if I use the variance formula, so that will be uh, the formula we discussed earlier and if I just uh, simplify this further so I can write this as if I multiply n on, on the across multiply n on the left side so this will become v1 into n is equal to to the right side and let's call this as equation a now if I consider data set t in that data set number of values are thrice of that of number of values in data set s so that will be 3n so let's the number of uh, the total values are b1, b2, b3, b4 up to b3n. And mean is equal to, mean is same, so mean is equal to m, variance is equal to v2. Now if I use the formula, and again if I simplify this further, so this will become v2 into 3n is equal to the right hand side, which is the sum of the uh, difference in each value from the mean and square of those. And uh, Let's call this as equation B. Now if I consider the third data set which is a new data set and in which we are combining both data sets and S and T, so number of values are combination of both which is 4N which are A1, A2, A3 up to A and, and B1, B2, B3, B4 up to B3N. And mean is greater M 
So first of all, let's find the mean. And for that, we need to use the weighted average formula. And in this, if I consider n data sets, and A shows the average of values in each data set, and n shows the total number of values in each data set. And if I use this formula further, and we have provided two data set S and T, we know the average, which is same, and number of values, which is n and 3n, by using those in this formula, we can find the final mean of the new data set, which is equal to smaller n, and this is same. So the, this is a very easy logic that if you're adding, if you're combining two data set with same mean, so doesn't matter uh, what is the difference in number of values, the mean will always be same in new data set, regardless of the number of values in other data set. And remember, this is for when the mean is equal in each. Now, if we again uh, see the data set U, now mean is same M, variance is V3. If I use the formula now and simplify this further, so this will be V3 into 4N is equal to the uh, right hand side. And uh, if I a bit simplify this and divide this into in term of A values and B values. So A values are from data set S and B values are from data set T. So we have already uh, defined this in term of equation A and equation B. And if I substitute these values in this above equation, so I can simplify this as V3, the variance of third data set into 4n is equal to variance of first data set into n plus variance of second data set into 3n. And if I divide 4n on both sides, this will become V1 into 1 plus V2 into 3n divided by 4n. And if you see this closely, this is a formula of the weighted average but in this, instead of using the average, we are using the variance. So in the variable formula, the values are a1, a2, but now we are using v1, v2. Rest, this is same form as the weighted average formula. And if you simplify this, so v3, the variance of data set, third data set will be equal to v1 plus 3v2 divided by 4. Now if I get back to the question, the quantity A is the variance of data set U and quantity B is the sum of variance of data sets S and T. Now if I use the mirroring strategy, as I don't know what is the sign in between, and if I just substitute the values, and let's now simplify this further. So if I multiply 4 on both sides, so this will become uh, V1 plus 3V2 quantity A and 4 into V1 plus V2 quantity B. And again, if I want to simplify this further so that I have constant on one side. So if I, if I subtract V1 plus 3V2 on both sides, so that I can have 0 as a quantity A and 3V1 plus V2 at quantity B. Now think of it. So variance can't be negative. Variance is always non-negative. So that's many variance could be 0 and positive. As in the question, this is given that the variance of both data sets are different. So even if I consider one variance as zero, the other variance must be greater than zero. That's why the answer to this is option B. That's mean the quantity B is greater. There are various ways to solve this. And this ways just involve the manipulation of the formula. We can solve this logically as well. I will try to come up with you for that as well. I hope that you find this video helpful. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.